future soldiers may march longer, carry heavier gear, and be more mentally sharp thanks to DOD-funded research into what's known as the Warrior Web Program. An example of where this might benefit a soldier would be if they're doing a very long duration, um, physically demanding task where they require a lot of endurance. By having a suit that is providing physical assistance, they're able to maintain their level of physical performance over a much longer duration. The suit has pulleys and gears designed to prevent and reduce injuries caused by dynamic events typically found in the warfighter's environment. These physical augmentation technologies have the ability to provide just a reduced physical workload during the very high demand tasks that these soldiers do. Scientists and engineers from the U.S. Army Research Laboratory have been testing variations of the suit for more than three years at the Soldier Performance and Equipment Advanced Research, or SPEAR, facility at Aberdeen Proving Ground. I think longer term, the systems have benefits to be integrated into larger soldier systems, and it can be integrated with other subsystems, other capabilities, uh, to provide a marked advantage for our soldiers and uh, warfighters in the future. The project funded by the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, or DAPA, has many partner organizations across the DOD and academia. What we're trying to do is look at a way to collaborate on the, in the final phase of this program to, to prevent the program from closing as a DAPA program, that we can keep it going in a multiply beneficial way for, for the Army and the services. Researchers tested the same group of soldiers in April and again in June, with and without the suit, and gathered massive amounts of data. We have an indoor lab capability where we can instrument up the soldiers and keep them in a, an environment where you can just get pure data in on things like treadmills, motion capture, and be able to analyze everything in the lab. Officials are still discussing the path forward. I think a good, at least another good five to 10 years to be ready for the infantry soldier. For ARL-TV, I'm Joyce Conant.